Stroke added the ability to output DMX via Artistic License Artnet protocol in version 3 of Artist. Unlike the USB to DMX boxes, the use of Artnet within Artist 3 is not locked down to any particular product or manufacturer. In fact, Artist 3 can use any network adapter connected to your PC to output Artnet. Without going too deep into the technicalities, the Artnet protocol is based on Class A IP addressing. The default address range being 2.x.x.x with subnet mask 255.0.0.0. As this is not a reserved private range, it is very important you do not route your ARTnet data onto the internet. Always make sure your ARTnet network is a closed private network. While in theory ARTnet will work with any Class A IP address, a lot of manufacturers have stuck very close to the documented specification for the protocol. As such, they only allow their products to communicate in the 2.x.x.x range or the 10.x.x.x private Class A range. As such, it is always best practice to remain within one of these two ranges. Before we can output ARTnet, we first need to configure the network adapter on our PC with an address also within this range. If we open up Control Panel, and in the search box type in Network, we can click on View Network Connections. This PC only has one wired network adapter, but it's good practice to name your adapters. In this case, as this will be our ARTnet connection, I'm going to rename it ARTnet. Next we need to right click on the adapter and select Properties. Then click on Internet Protocol version 4 and click Properties. This box is where we can set the network adapter's IP address. By default it will be set to obtain an IP address automatically. And this would be fine if we were connected to say a router which had a pre-configured dynamic host configuration protocol or DHCP server built in. We however don't so we want to explicitly set the IP address. So here I will give it an IP address of 2.7.2.1. As long as the first number is 2, it doesn't matter what the other numbers are, as long as they are between 0 and 255, and the entire address is unique on the network. Here I've used 2.7.2.1, because the venue this is installed in is called Unit 7, the PC is running in Room 2, and being the light controller, it's the first device that I'm addressing. I could then go on to address, say, my video media server as 2.7.2.2, I could then leave a gap to allow other PCs to be connected in the future and then have the ARTnet devices controlling my rig start at a round number of say 100. By having a method like this it means it's very simple to fault find any issues on your network, particularly across large multi-room multi-device installations. By clicking on the subnet mask box it will automatically fill in the subnet mask for us. As we are not talking to the internet or any other subnets for that matter, the default gateway and DNS boxes all remain blank. Click OK to set the address and then click Close. By default ARTnet is switched off in Artist. To enable it we need to expand the Interface Manager on the Resources tab of the Navigator. Right click on ARTnet and click Properties. Next we click on the Enable checkbox. In the drop down menu, make sure the network card that you wish to output ARTnet on is selected. Then click OK. Once we click OK, Artist uses the ART poll function of ARTnet to identify any other ARTnet devices on the network. As you can see here, I have an SGM A4 connected to my network and it is set to the IP address of 2.7.2.200. We can see more details about it by right clicking on it and selecting properties. The output and input boxes let you set how many DMX universes in and out this device has. This SGM A4 has been configured as a 4 output device, so I'm going to change the number of outputs to 4. Some manufacturers do not implement the art poll function of ARTnet, so they require the device to be added manually. You will need to know the IP address of the device and it's a good idea to run a ping on the device from the command prompt to ensure the artist PC is communicating over the network with the device. To manually add a device, go back into the properties of ARTnet 
and click on Add Node. A similar box to the Properties dialog we were just looking at appears, allowing us to give a name, an input and output configuration, and this time to set the IP address of the device. Now in the same way as with the USB DMX boxes, we need to patch the physical device to virtual DMX universes within Artist. First expand the input output patch. Right click on universes out and click properties. A dialog appears asking how many universes we want to add. We want to add four universes for this device, so I'll change this to four and click OK. Now in Universes Out, our virtual universes are displayed. Again, we can rename the virtual universes to something more descriptive, for example, Main Rig. The red star means that the universe has not been patched to an interface yet. To patch it, we need to right click on the first virtual universe and select properties. Under interface type, we select ArtNet. The node box will then display the IP address of the ArtNet device that we're patching the universe to. If you have more than one ArtNet device on the network, all of them will be displayed in the dropdown. Now, because the SGM A4 has been set up as a four universe output device, and we have set it up in the ArtNet interface configuration as such, the universe box will now give us a choice of the four physical outputs to patch our virtual universe to. As we want universe one going to output one, we'll select one. Now we click OK, and the red star by universe one disappears, indicating that the virtual universe has been patched. We can now repeat the same steps for universes two to four, but this time changing the value in the universe box accordingly. Once all of our lines are configured and the red stars have disappeared, the device is now ready to be used. Now that we have our physical interfaces outputting DMX, in the next tutorial we're going to look at patching fixtures.